Who that? <laughs> Silence on set! <laughs> <laughs> In hindsight, I think the first time I recall about this work stream was entering Sharon's room and then she was like, hey, you want to join a Project Supercompute? The idea back then, the intent was that we actually saw a greater opportunity with uh, NVIDIA to actually secure um, sovereign compute. And we had to do it fast. So part of that uh, process, we had to... I remember going into Sharon's room a few times. Like it, it feels like setting up a base station and then Sharon using her whiteboard and markers to really map out what uh, NVIDIA does and like what are some of the things like GPU, what are like parallelizable workloads, things like that. It's akin to like, um, you know, like you're using a computer but you're still having like hot swapping certain parts and then if you, if things go wrong then it goes chipa boom. <laughs> yeah, I mean it literally was chipa boom in, us, in our face lah because the space was very, very crowded and there were a lot of people within and outside of IMD who couldn't understand what we were doing. So we struggled, we really struggled. But we kind of persevered at the same time because we had a lot of colleagues um, from different lines supporting us. The beauty of working in IMDA is we're able to pull in different colleagues from across the lines to put something on the table. That's where we're able to win a lot of people over. At the same time, I thought this is also a good opportunity to give a big shout out to colleagues who have helped us a lot. Eileen, Marcus, Wunxian, Chen Hui, Mel, Yvonne, David, Janet, um, so thank you very much, guys. It was a very long, almost painful journey, but we had to go through a lot. We've pushed ourselves. We've pushed and changed mindsets of you know, different agencies. Being able to pull together all the stakeholders that Sharon has mentioned to show IMDA's value, to earn ourselves a seat at the table. For myself personally, as we were coming out of a meeting with PM and NVIDIA, I think it's that this journey, while it was a painful one, it really demonstrated this journey of gumption that uh, we've been talking about.